After an extensive search, the Art Gallery of Burlington has announced that they've appointed a new president and CEO. Robert Stephen, who currently manages the Culture and Heritage Department of the City of Grand Prairie in Alberta, will assume his new post at the AGB on May 4th of this year. In the past, he was recognized for his successes with a Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal from the Premier of Alberta, and in 2013, he was named one of Alberta's 50 most influential people. So now, without any further ado, I'd like to welcome Robert Stephen onto Halton Insider via Skype from Alberta. Good evening, Mr. Stephen, and congratulations on your new role. Oh, thanks very much, Jesse, and I hope you'll call me Robert. Okay, will do. I have mentioned a few of your many accomplishments that you've achieved while working in Alberta, but you are originally from Ontario. Are you excited to be coming back? Uh, we are very excited. It's, it's um, a little bit melancholy to leave Grand Prairie, where it's, which has been our home for the last eight, almost nine years, but in uh, Burlington we'll be close to family, uh, my parents and her brother, as well as lots of cousins for our kids. So. Um, the opportunity to uh, to work in Burlington, uh, to work with the fabulous AGB staff, and to um, have a little more daylight in the winter time, a uh, little uh, more summer all year uh, during the summer months, is uh, extremely exciting to us. Well, we are experiencing a lot of rain here this week, so hopefully some of that will clear up by the time you're in town. And I'm sure your work at the Kitchener-Waterloo Art Gallery and the Art Gallery of Grand Prairie have prepared you well for your new role. But tell me why you think the Art Gallery of Burlington, besides your family being close by, is the right place for you at this time. Well, I don't know if everybody's uh, aware of the fact that the Art Gallery of Burlington is um, kind of a unique form in the art museum world in that they've got the, uh, the guilds there, uh, which um, operate the studios and, and um, where regular uh, people can go in and make art as part of the, uh, the regular program of the art gallery. And I'm really attracted to innovation um, and change and the kind of opportunities for changing the world, changing the, the sector, that um, a place like the Art Gallery of Burlington that has already gone out on a limb with its uh, with format um, gives me the opportunity to change. It's, it or gives me the opportunity to work in. It's uh, different from any other art gallery in Canada and um, that makes it exciting to me. Thank you. We are fortunate to have such a wonderful art gallery and this may be too early to ask since you've yet to even arrive, but what direction would you like to take the AGB over the coming months? Um, well, I, I don't know uh, what you would see tangibly, but I know that the um, my priority is to ensure that the needs of um, the community uh, for service from the art gallery are um, discovered and understood and then served better and better. The, every art gallery is kind of a reflection of its community and so I just want to make the art gallery of Burlington as Burlington as it can be and as important to uh, Burlingtonians as it can be. Well, that sounds great to us here, and we're looking forward to your expertise here in Burlington. I know you officially start next month. Have you started packing? Oh, yes. Um, I, I'm, uh, we've just sold our house, and we are uh, making all the arrangements to move now, and I'm going to be driving across the country uh, starting on the 25th of April, so uh, I may be able to do some Facebook updates or, or Twitter updates along the way. Great. Well, I hope that everything goes as smoothly for you as it can. I'd like to thank you so much for connecting with us here this evening. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have, but we do wish you luck and look forward to working with you in the future. All the best. Thank you. We do need to take a short break now, but we will be right back with sports and weather after this.